everybody, it's Cam. I'm back today with a project share. Um, I've been working on this vintage shabby uh, lace book for, I don't know, maybe a week. And some of you may have seen me working on it in a live um, a couple nights ago. So I appreciate that. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys the finished project. The base of this book is some um, quilted muslin fabric that's got batting that I purchased at Hobby Lobby and I've used a lot of different things in this book. I used a um, lace and doily pack from Selena at Amore Fabrics and then I used a lot of stuff um, from my stash, from recent purchases, from um, Pearl Brown and some other lovely ladies. So let me show you. This is my cover of my book and this lace was actually from some of my kits and then this gorgeous piece is a sleeve from a wedding dress, a vintage wedding dress. You can see where the loops are, that would be where the buttons of the dress were. That was in the pack from um, Selena from Amora Fabrics. And then for my spine you can barely tell but I used this trim down here to cover up where I stitched my book pages together and then I added this ruffle which was from my stash it's a um, piece from a vintage wedding gown from the 80s and then you can see some crinkled seam binding and then um, I hand stitched this flower out of some lace and added a little doily and a pearl to make the flower and a little bow underneath and then I've got dangles hanging down. Um, this netting is from this lace and then this gorgeous piece I just love. This was um, from Selena's pack as well. And then I tied it closed with some of this pretty white ribbon and I added a little doily with a little flower and a tiny little flower in the center to each of the ties. So let me undo that and show you the inside. Oh, and I added some of this pearl trim down the edge here just to kind of give the cover a finished, finished look there. Okay, this is the first page. Um, this gorgeous, stunning piece was from the pack that I purchased. Uh, it's a little bow here with some bridal satin. And then uh, tea dyed this flower that was gifted to me by a friend. Uh, tea dyed this collar piece. Did a little bow with some lace and a little flower and a pearl. Uh, I put this lace on the bottom. That was from my stash. And then I wanted it to be sparkly and blingy because it's sequin, as you can see. So I added some rhinestone box chain um, along the edges here. So that's my first page. And then beside it, is this page and this is like a trio up top this these two at the ends are doily clusters there's three doilies there and then this one is one in the middle that's got the three pearls I used um, more of this pearl trim and then um, the focal point there's a doily underneath here and then some lace over top of that and then one of these lace pieces from the pack um, this applique is from my store, and this is just one little section of this trim, which is another way to use that. Another little doily with the three pearls, and then the dangle on this page is a tassel trim from my stash, and then there's some lace behind that um, from the pack that I purchased. Really pretty. So this page, oh, and I've got a bow here on the side with a brooch. A pearl and rhinestone brooch with a little little bow there. So this page is very, um, these two pages are very vintage feeling. And then this is my next set of pages and this page is a pocket. So the pocket is made out of some of the lace that was in the pack and then I put this applique on it from my stash. I outlined, I trimmed, outlined the pocket with this pearl trim there's a little tiny um, bow here with some more bridal lace and another um, doily with a vintage threaded button. And then this gorgeous lace is what's dangling 
at the bottom and this is from my stash love that and then inside the pocket we have a doily that came in the pack that I purchased and then this is an avocado dyed um, rose applique and then I did another like doily cluster here there's one two three four doilies in the little pearl and then there's some lace is what's the base of this page it's over the fabric that was also in the pack so then next to that I have this page and I used uh, a large section of snippet trim that I had made on that and then this is another section from a vintage wedding dress that was in the pack that I purchased and I just put some seam binding and a vintage button right there and then um, there is some lace on the background and then this gorgeous rose applique that I added a few pearls to and then on the bottom we've got this lace that everybody has and then I just put pearls in each of the centers and that's the dangle on this page I really like the way the snippet trim came out on that page and then the next set of pages is kind of a combo kind of vintage and shabby so let's see this is the first page and I put this lace over the entire thing and then there is a doily here here is the edge of it that goes across both of these pages and then over top of that I put this lace going up and down on the page and then this really pretty um, tea dyed applique and then I've got some bridal applique here and here and these it's interesting the color is kind of a um, it's got a slight yellow tint to it and it was just a happy accident I just to see what it would look like I dyed some things in salted caramel tea and this is actually the color that it came out is this kind of yellowy and it just goes with the, the colors in this book so I went with that and then I added um, three vintage buttons here and then more of that gorgeous lace and the dangle on this page and then this page is a pocket page and it's actually a double pocket so I made a pocket out of um, some lace here as you can see that lace and it's got sequins on it so it's sparkly and then I um, trimmed it with some more of this tassel trim and I have a couple of doilies from the pack in there and then the second pocket behind it is from more of that bridal satin and then I trimmed it with this really pretty vintage lace that I purchased on Etsy um, and then in this pocket I have a tea dyed um, collar piece and another doily from the pack and then for the focal point um, you can see better the the doily that was spread across that I believe I purchased that doily from NOLA um, and then there's a doily here and then a tea dyed um, basket of flowers applique and then I popped a few little pearls in there and then this little tiny applique with the flower um, and there's a tiny little like bow here of this really pretty trim that my daughter brought me back from Asia and a button there and then at the top for some interest I added this really pretty ribbon that I've had in my stash and then a little tea dyed heart a little bow and another vintage ribbon and then oh I did trim the bottom of this um, this has got a gorgeous lace dangle at the bottom from my stash and then I put some more of that trim that I got or the lace that I got from Etsy on the bottom of this page so that's that spread and then we are at the back of the book and here's the back I used another large section of that lace that's on the front cover um, that was in my stash and then part of a doily that I believe a large piece that I believe came from NOLA uh, on here and then I added this large um, beaded applique which I believe came from uniquely yours by Don Marie uh, her Facebook store and then for the dangles on the bottom I added some of this shabby trim it's embroidered 
and that, that was in my stash, and then this gorgeous doily trim that I just love, and I popped some pearls in the holes of that. So that's the back, and you can see it's not too chunky when it's laying flat, um, and I just think this is so pretty. If I had anyone getting married, I think this would be gorgeous for a gift for a bride to store little keepsakes in because it's got such um, amazing pieces of wedding dress uh, parts in it. But I haven't made a book like this in a long time and I'm, I'm proud of myself for doing some hand stitching in it and I'm really happy with the way it came out. So I hope you guys like it too. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and have a great day everybody. Bye bye.